London's club scene is buzzing. There's a new star in the land, and it is Fabric, described as a super club. This entertainment complex is the shape of things to come. But what is Fabric? It's a group of people enjoying themselves and some fun, and in amongst it all, we're promoting the music we believe in. We love live music. Live music is a very different experience to club music, and the fusion of live and DJ-led music just expands on the present club experience. A super club it may be, but is London ready for an entertainment complex as large as Fabric? We've been very, very fortunate. Uh, we set out to do what we wanted to do. Musically, we had to make any compromises at all. People have accepted what we, what we really wanted to do, and it's been really successful, and uh, it's, it feels really good at the moment. Three years of ceaseless effort has gone into constructing fabric. In this location, so there's a number of a number of locations before it. It's, uh, to be honest, it was more of a more of a sound thing than a visual thing. It's uh, walk into somewhere and it's, I could almost hear music. If I heard music, it felt right, and the, the vision came a little bit after. As, uh, when you sit down with plans and things, but it's more it was more of a sound thing for me. <laughs> As I say, you step into a place and you can almost just close your eyes and, start, and the music starts uh, filtering through. We lost three before this one. It's uh, an ongoing process. You find a site and find something you're happy with and you've got the normal hurdles to go through, licensing, planning and a million and one applications and very often, often or not, you fall at one or more of those hurdles. And, left with just a lot of wasted time and money and then it's back to square one to find a new site. We, we were very close with one in particular and it was, it, I was heartbroken really, I was sort of quite blessed that I had to sort of go away for a few days and just sort of take the walk in the wilderness type thing and it, you know, it was, it was it, it's tough and there was a lot of times when we thought Lost about seven or eight partners on the way, two other sites. It's, there were a lot of times, quite difficult times, and, but we're here now. Well, it's a very interesting project. It's the first time that I've actually done a nightclub, and it's interesting to see how all the different systems go together. Like all large concerns, it takes a great deal of effort to keep it on track. And usually, one person has to make all the difficult decisions. I tend to oversee everything. I've got, I've got a great team, sort of, a sort of management team underneath me, and a great promotional team, which uh, do a very, very good job. They've just got bags and bags of energy, and they're just so committed and so passionate about what they do. It, does make my my job a lot easier, but I just take an overview on the whole thing and just get all the all the components connected and talking to each other and uh, on the same page of the script. Room. It must now take a large team to keep it going. I think it's about 180. I don't know. I'm a bit out of touch with it. Cause it's been great. we've just uh, it's got very 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 busy very quickly, and we're, so I think it's about 180. It's quite a large operation, and there's a lot of people sort of people come on in the night. They, very often, they don't realise how much goes on in the background. There's so much work involved in actually keeping the whole thing running, you know. and but people just see the DJs and uh, the people behind bars and lots of people and cashiers taking money and things like that. They forget that there's a legions of other people involved, from sort of from cleaners and promotional staff. There's a, there's a hell of a lot going on. All the time. Fabric has made some rather startling changes to the facilities on offer in the club. The chill-out room features giant beds and there are some wonderful unisex toilets. The unisex toilets, um, 
doesn't feel like much of an innovation to us. We just try to make sense of something that was almost nonsensical. Uh, in virtually every other club that I've ever been in, there's the, the guys are always in the girls' toilets, the girls are always in the guys' toilets, and, and nobody seemed to mind, you know, <laughs> including the venue. So we just sort of uh, tried to legitimise the whole thing, really. Uh, the body Sonic dance floor is something that uh, so we're, we're constantly looking for new ways to improve the, the, the sound experience and the way Body Sonic works, we have face speakers actually attached underneath the floor and it's more of a, a feeling rather than destructible, rather than airborne sound and it's, uh, it just uh, adds another dimension to it and uh, I'd say the, it's probably the most innovating thing really at the club. It's the only one in Europe at the moment. But, um, we've got some other some other things that we're actually doing with our sound system at the moment which will be which we're just putting together. So it's meant to be quite interesting. Turning twenty two thousand square feet from a cold meat storage cellar into a super club does not come cheap. The whole M&E package was about two million quid and I think uh, you know, getting on to a million pounds of that was the, is the ventilation because apart from that you've got the chillers and boilers on the roof. And it's, uh, it, it, it's, not in, it's probably innovative in as much as we, we're one of the few, we're not the only few, other people care about the environment, we're, we're perhaps one of the few that actually have taken the, the time and care to make sure that the, the key elements giving people a comfortable environment, which are you know, good quality sound, good toilets, uh, an environment with clean and cool air, you know, and, and we, we wanted that to be perfect, so if there is, is any innovation, it's, um, it's a pretty normal system, you know, so if there is any innovation, it's just the fact that we decided to do it where other people don't. You know. It seems increasingly difficult to generate a decent atmosphere in London's clubs, yet fabric seems the exception to the rule. People generate the atmosphere, we provide the, uh, the, the raw, the elements and the, the, the backdrop for it and uh, so it's, it's people. What we try to do is promotion is to attract the, the kind of crowd that, that generate that atmosphere and uh, fortunately we have it at the moment. Because we're getting really, really good, good crowds on, on both Friday and Saturday. It's a big club, definitely a big club. I mean, I'm, I am impressed, without a doubt, because I'm, I'm a bit of a raver myself. I used to put on raves in the early days, you know, 79, 80, then that was the early raves, and then the acid raves I put on in 89. We've got Energies, Weekend World, you know, and they were all in the arm, um, in fields and stuff like that. But they're gonna ha I think they're going to have a lot hotter atmosphere in a place like this than any of the Weekend World, because it looks like it's ready to go. And they're taking the um, clientele into great consideration. I'm impressed with the uh, management. These are exciting times for the clubber, but has it gone as far as it can go? What new things can super clubs offer? They'll, they'll be limited. We've, because people have taken us to their heart quite quickly, and so we feel really fortunate and very, very happy that, that it's been so successful and allowed us to continue doing what, what we wanted to do. We've been, because of that, we've been made so many offers to do events outside uh, of the club, whether it's Ibiza or Miami or things for festivals. Things that, and what we don't want to do is dilute what we're doing. If we if we do anything, it, it needs to be for a reason. The reason we did this is because we wanted to create a space where we could play the music we wanted to play in the kind of environment that we wanted to go to. Uh, if there's anything else that we do, that it's got to have a solid reason or foundation behind it. You know, we're not going to be running off. The reason we don't go to, we're not in Ibiza, for example, is because there's a lot of people out there. They're all doing a very good job, and there's nothing we can add to it. You know, so I mean, that would be a good example of things that we can do, but we're not going to because uh, there's not a great deal of point to it. You know? um, 
and I want to go out there just for the sake of hanging up a fabric banner. That's not what we're about. What we're trying to do is change things, twist things, or provide an alternative. But we, we have one project which we, which is an internet-based project, which uh, um, which will be delivering something new. Uh, so that, that's still being formed at the moment. So we don't have the full chapter and verse on that. But it's uh, outside of that. It's uh, we've got some modifications to the club and some extra space that we're opening. We've got almost twice as much space that's in the club presently available to us, which we can start. So we're going to be opening more rooms and improving the facilities here so uh, pretty much we'd like to concentrate on what we're doing here and get that perfect because we've we've been we've only been here for seven or eight months and uh, we're still not perfect at what we do we uh, sometimes we get it wrong and uh, uh, that perhaps has an effect on on customers and it's a large operation to run and we want to get that absolutely perfect before we start taking our off the ball. Yeah. Clubs seem to be stuck in the same groove. No, the same era. Will Fabric's music always reflect what is current? It'll always be developing. It will never stop. Um, that's one of the beauties of dance music for us. It's, uh, it's adventurous and it's pioneering and it's constantly moving forward and always delivering new styles, new flavours and new genres. It's, so yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll keep pushing it forward. It has been a long, hard journey. Did you at any point think about packing it all up and walking away? Mm, never. The reason I'm here is because I love music and that that will never leave me and that's uh, always been the motivation, the inspiration for it and I don't think I, hopefully I'll never lose that, that love of music.